Hey there, Balloon Buddies. Today we have a very special fire safety episode. We're going to learn important fire safety tips from fire instructor Dominic. But first, do you know why fire trucks sometimes spray foam? We use different types of foam depending on what kind of fire it is, but that foam actually helps put out the fire or keep the fire from reigniting. That's cool. Inside the firehouse, all the fire trucks sit filled and ready to go at a moment's notice. There is no time to spare in an emergency. There are many different types of fire trucks, each one appropriate for specific situations. Fire instructor Dominic is going to give us some important tips to remember in case we are ever in a fire situation. Hey Balloon Buddies, my name is Dominic and I'm a fire instructor with the Big Current County Fire District number two. And today we're gonna to be going over some fire safety tips with work here. Okay, so whenever there's a fire, the fire's gonna be creating a lot of smoke and we really don't wanna be breathing that smoke. So when, as soon as we see that fire and that smoke, what we wanna do is we wanna get low and we want to go, go, go. We want to get out as fast as we can. All right, and once we're out of the house, we don't want to go back in for any reason. And what we want to do is we want to dial 911 and get help coming. So when you are in a burning building, we obviously want to get out as fastly as possible. But if we can't get out or you're trapped, you need to look for us. So someone going in is going to be looking just like this or very similar to this. And you can't hide from us. You know, if you see us or hear us, you gotta let us know, say, hey, I'm over here, because we're gonna come get you, because you're the reason we're there. We're looking for you, so you don't wanna hide from us, because as soon as we get you, we're gonna get you out as fast and safe as we can. To recap, in a fire situation, you should get low to avoid smoke and exit the area. Do not return to a burning structure for any reason. Next, call 911 so help can get on the way. If you are trapped in a burning area or unable to exit, then make yourself known to firefighters when they arrive so they can get to you quickly. Do not be afraid or hide from them. Even if they might look scary, they are there to help you. We had a lot of fun today, but please know that work was under the trained and watchful eyes of professionals and did not actually operate any fire equipment. Bye, Boomerang! See you, Balloon Buddies! Special thanks to Fire Instructor Dominic, the Bighorn County Fire District Number 2, and all volunteer firefighters everywhere. <laughs>